I'm here to film a book haul for you. I got quite a lot of books in June. So yeah, uh, I got some because of, uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a few from second hand. Um, garage sales, I guess it's called, yeah. Uh, which is exciting because I got a lot of books that I really want to read and they were cheap. And I also ordered a few books and then I went on a shopping spree at the sci-fi bookstore with a friend. So yeah, I'm going to show it all to you now. I'm going to start off with the ones that I ordered uh, from online. Uh, so I wanted to read, I wanted like pocket books, just easy reads for the summer. So I got quite a few. Uh, the first one is one that I showed in my wrap up from June and that's Shadow Europa by Birgitta Stenberg. This was for my book club and I really love this. Uh, and there's three more in this series. The other one was also in my wrap up and this it's this very short novella by Jojo Moyes, Paris for One. This was kind of, yeah, it was what I expected, but I wouldn't recommend you buying it. I'm probably gonna give it away. <clears throat> and then I got a Swedish book that a lot of people enjoy, uh, which I've been wanting to read for a while, but it's been like such a long queue at the library, <laughs> so I got my own. Uh, I varje ögonblick är vi fortfarande vid liv by Tom Malmqvist and this is about a father and his girlfriend having a child and the woman dies um, at birth. So he has to take his child home alone and he's depressed so yeah. I also got a book by a Swedish author called Bodin Malmsten. Den dagen kastanjerna slår ut är jag långt härifrån. And this is a Swedish author who recently died. And I only read bits and pieces from her. Um, nothing whole, but she's a poet. And she recently got uh, collected works out that's really beautiful and I really want to get it but yeah I chose this one this is supposed to be like a novel um, I think it's based on her I don't know I'm not sure what this is about I just want to read Wooden Mom's Stan because I really liked her like her like from what I've heard in interviews and everything but I haven't read any any of her books really Except for a book that she wrote on writing, which is really good. So yeah, and these are all like some reads. Uh, I'll hope I hope I'll get to them. <laughs> um, then I got another book by Jon Ivar Lindqvist uh, called Rörelse, and this is the second novel to his series that he's writing now. Uh, and the third one is coming. He actually uh, released a new short stories collection recently. Uh, I get his books in paperback though. Uh, so I have to wait. So I got this now when it came out in paperback. And this is, he's a horror writer and she, he's really good. Uh, you should really read um, The Harbor. That's my favorite. He also wrote uh, Let the Right One In, which uh, became a movie, at, even in the US. I haven't seen the American version, actually. I really like the Swedish movie, and uh, the book is amazing. Uh, read it. If you like vampires, definitely read it. You only have the link this Let the Right One In. Uh, that's from uh, The Smiths. <laughs> He's a huge Smiths fan, which I am too, so that's great. Uh, and then I got a French novel, in Swedish it's called Det, vis Det vi inte visste var lika, I'll put translation, by Agnes Ledig. Uh, and this is like a feel-good kind of love story novel, which I got just because I wanted to read something like that, and I, I like French novels, I'm not sure why. Um, then I got... Um, a book on, on 
veganism. Um, I saw a vegan that I follow on YouTube uh, talk about this book and I've seen it around before. I never understood it's written by a vegan, but I just thought the, the title was ridiculous. I thought, no, why, why would anyone read that? But it's supposed to be a humoristic title, so it's called Skinny Bitch by Rory Friedman and Kim Barnoui. Barnoui? Uh, it's supposedly very interesting, so I decided to pick it up and just try and read it because I want to read more books um, written by vegans. I actually ordered a few others that I haven't got yet, so yeah, wanna get to this this summer. And I got another, I don't think I've showed these to you, uh, it's Vintage Classics Jane Austen because I got three others of these on Northanger Abbey, at least I showed in a uh, wrap up for my classics in May, uh, but I also got this one and I have Mansfield Park and Pride and Prejudice in these and I'm gonna get all of the books in these vintage classics because I love this style. Um, these editions are really good and I quite liked her and I really want to read all her novels because it just feels important and I want to read all the female classics. Uh, that's my goal for my life. <laughs> so yeah, um, my throat is starting to hurt. Uh, <clears throat> you might know I love the English uh, Penguin English Library Edition books. I really like them. So I saw they had these notebooks. Um, there's two in one packet, and they have another packet uh, with like a red. The first one is red at least, but I, I like these more because I love this. This is for the tenant of Wildfell Hall, which I love. Uh, so that's the one I really liked. That's why I decided to get this one. So these are t two notebooks and I think the, only the first one is striped and the other one is not. So yeah, and I like writing. I haven't done much. That's what I thought I'd do this summer, but I haven't yet. There's only been a week though, so <laughs> I have six more weeks of free time. <sighs> Let's speed this up, shall we? So for the books I got on um, second hand, I got the first in the Lemon Snicket series. Uh, I have two others and I just get them when I see them second hand. Uh, I haven't read them actually, but I, I like to and I like children's books, so yeah. I also got two Novelix books that I I actually read this one, but I really liked it. I have not read this one yet. And this is Go Guy de Maupassant, Paul's Girl. This is by Elsa Bilgren, who is a, like a famous blogger, vintage girl here in Sweden. So if you like, like vintage dresses and stuff, you can look her up. She has a blog on L, I guess, for the magazine Elle. Um, then I got a, another Swedish classic that I really, really want to read and I've been wanting to read it for quite some time. It's called Maken uh, by Gunbrit Sandström and this is about a relationship and it's supposedly really, really good. So I can't wait to get to this. <clears throat> and then I got an Italian novel by Silvia Avellone called Stål. I think it's called Steel in English and I actually read half of this when it came out and I read it from the library and I just uh, didn't finish it but I really liked it so and this is about two young girls and they're in love so um, and it was really good uh, I can't remember why I didn't finish it uh, maybe I just had to give it back or something and um, then I found <clears throat> It was like a street fair or whatever, and a few girls sold books, and I found this one. It's a Murakami book that I don't own. It's called Underground, and it's by Vintage. And I have a few of his books in these, actually. And I think uh, I'm really interested in this book. And I think it's this is the one that recently came out in Swedish, but it's super long. But this is only... 300 pages, so I'm not sure. I'm just rambling. Doesn't make sense at all. So yeah, I don't know what is this about anymore because it's not a book I thought I picked up. I'm not sure. 
but this yeah this is about the Tokyo gas attack and the Japanese psych and it just sounds really interesting um, because yeah I remember back in high school we read about that and I just found it interesting I, I'm not sure why <coughs> then because my friend thought I should read this I got a Noam Chomsky book about power lies and what's it called yeah, this is a political piece of literature, so yeah, I'll get to that. I also got <clears throat> uh, Poetry by Lucas Modison, who made the best Swedish film ever called Fucking Normal. Amazing. And I haven't read much by him, but I've been wanting to, so I, I'm glad I found this. And this is quite short, so yeah, just some poetry treat. Then I found this like brand new 10 Swedish crowns uh, and this is like a there's different things in here like how to make jams and knit and there's like this is a feministic uh, kind of book um, like vintage style how to be an old lady <laughs> And it's supposed to be funny, uh, and it's really fun actually. And this girl, she made a, a like a children's show when I was little called Grinnet's Show, and she was like a super power girl uh, feminist, and she was hilarious, and I just love her. And she, yeah, she's a huge thing for my generation here in Sweden and it's just so funny <laughs> that she actually does books now uh, yeah and I just love her um, it's not vegan or anything but I still to not do jams you don't have to have a vegan recipe but there's other stuff in here as well uh, just quizzes and stuff and I'm still rambling I'm sorry uh, the last few books I got with my friend at the sci-fi bookstore in the first book is by an author I can't really pronounce. The first book is by Chuck Palahniuk called Lullaby and it sounds horrific <laughs> sort of but it sounds really good and I really like these vintage editions and I rarely buy new books in stores so I just picked this up because I liked buying a book. Um, and it sounds really good and I want to read scary stuff right now I'm not sure if I'm going to I also got a bunch of feel-good books that I should read because I felt like I wanted to read feel-good books so I should read those and I have like two packets coming <laughs> books so yeah but there's short chapters in there I heard good things about this on booktube as well can you tell I just had coffee and I haven't had coffee for like three months um yeah and then I got um sex criminals all three volumes and I started the first one in June and I'm gonna finish it in July and I'm really enjoying this so far I guess you all know what it's about. It's amazing and I really like the art style actually. It's quite pretty, uh, I believe. It looks like this. If you can see, I really like it. Yeah. So, those were the books uh, for this video. I'm gonna stop here. I'm exhausted. Oh god, I need to... I want wine. We're going out tonight, so I'm gonna drink wine. And tomorrow is my birthday. It's Tuesday. We might go for dinner, like a Mise, Palestinian stuff, vegan. And have more wine. <laughs> and I'm having a party on Saturday, so yeah. Um, well, have a great summer, y'all, uh, if you have vacation, if you're working, I'm sorry, but at least it's summer, not in Australia, I guess, but here in the West, but yeah, um, yeah, just have a really good time, and please talk to me in the comments, tell me if you've read any of these, and just talk to me, and click the thumbs up, and everything this got long. Hi, bye!